if you're over the age of 50, you've probably been told by your doctor that you should get the vaccine for shingles. Yes, and shingles causes a blistering rash that can produce burning pain and really some long term scarring. But if that's not enough reason to get vaccinated, recent study finds shingles can also increase your risk of more serious health problems. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us tonight to explain why. Doc. Well, Karen and Jason, shingles is caused by the varicella zoster virus. It's the same virus that's responsible for chickenpox. In fact, that's how you get shingles. When you get chickenpox, the virus actually goes dormant, hiding out in some of the nerves of your body, and then later in life it can reawaken, leading to shingles, which is now being linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. A study looking at over 200,000 people, some for as long as 16 years, published in the Journal of the American Heart Association, found people who developed shingles were at an approximately 30% higher long-term risk of having a stroke or heart attack. For stroke, this was especially the case between 5 and 12 years from having had shingles. For heart attack, the highest risk was in the period 9 to 12 years from having had shingles. Dr. Sam Kazia is an interventional cardiologist at Henry Ford Health. We've known that the virus itself by itself can cause inflammation of the vessels. We never really thought about actually correlating that this inflammation would have any long-term uh, side effects on patients. So I think these studies uh, shows that in fact, uh, there is some correlation. Although this study was not designed to evaluate the potential benefit the shingles vaccine would have on this increased risk, Dr. Kazia believes it is important. At least 33% of us will have shingles. So uh, that should increase and enhance people thinking mm -hmm. that I need to be really vaccinated. This is something very important to do because long term, it has an impact on your survivability or having a heart attack. Now, this paper doesn't show that shingles causes cardiovascular disease. It only shows an association to a significantly increased risk. Nevertheless, it is actually plausible that the inflammation from shingles probably does contribute to the buildup of blockages in the blood vessels. So you hear about this. Where do the shingles blisters appear typically in the body? Well, you know, the most common place that I've seen them is actually in a stripe running diagonally across someone's torso. The face, particularly the forehead on one side, is probably the next most common place I've seen it. Now, this study didn't track the location of the rash, but there's actually no reason to think that one location would increase the risk over another. It's really the overall inflammation in the body that causes the problem. Yeah, I hear about the face a lot. Mm -hmm. so I kind of face Interesting, that, right? though, yeah. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Doc.